Greetings, greetings, my brothers and my sisters. This is Brother Wes, Prophet Wes. And I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Hope you enjoy enjoying yourselves and hope you enjoy this weekend and hope you enjoy your day because you deserve it. You deserve it. You were born to love. You were born. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. Uh, that, that's nothing like you. You're very special. You're a gift. I know because I'm a mama's boy. I'm a mama's boy, and there's nothing like my mama. There's nothing. There's nothing like mama, because mama will always be there. When no one is there, mama will be there. Mama understands when no one understands, and you're a gift. I mean, you you, you go through so much, and you take care of so much, and you cover up so much. Uh, many times you feel you feel unappreciated. You feel like you're not paid attention to, but. And you're not acknowledged of your efforts. You're not acknowledged of the things that you do. And you don't get enough credit. But I just want to give you that credit today. And from from me, from a mama's boy, someone that loves mama. And to say to you all, happy Mother's Day. And also, I would like to say to even to those that um, have mothers, but your mother has passed on. And this is a, t a difficult hour for you. And I understand because I'm in that same boat. I'm in the same boat, uh, but it's been a little while for me. My pain now has become my history. Now I can really speak on my mother's life, on the, the good things, the bad things, that my, the good things that my mom has done for me, and I appreciate it. And so, for those of you that have lost your mother, and, you, and it's difficult for the, this time, is difficult. You ain't want to even look at people, even who are talking about their mother, because it's still painful to you, because you still remember, and you remember even this time when you was celebrating, and you seeing people celebrating their mama, and it's difficult for you. But yeah, I just want to say and be encouraged, because God is a mother to the motherless and a father to the fatherless just trust god and allow god to help you in your process because you know uh not can't no one put a timetable on morning because when you're mourning for someone that means that you love them so much and you miss them and you wish they were still here even joshua joshua went through the same thing he was mourning for moses he was mourning for moses moses had died and that was his hero he was his hero and you know it came to a point where his hero had died and he stopped he didn't want to move forward. He was on his knees. Matter of fact, they had, had held up the camp for, I believe it was 30 to 40 days. But at the point when Joshua was on his knees and crying and mourning and sad for Moses, there came a time where God spoke to him. God spoke to Joshua saying, get up, get up. Because as I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. Arise. And for some of you, the things that your mother has put in you, those things that she's put in you, there in you even though she's gone her presence or her, her physical body is gone but her presence isn't she's still there she's in your heart and so the thing that you can do that i've learned that you can do now that your mother has passed on and your mother's your hero because my mom has always been my hero but now your hero is dead your hero is gone on to be with god and you at a valid decision where you don't really know what to do because you always have mama to lean on but now you don't have to now you don't have mama to lean on but i come to tell you, you do because mom and you, her spirit is in you. The thing that God told me, I'm going to tell you what God told me, and I'm done with this right here. When when God took my mother, he told me this. He told me this. Yes, I did take your mother. I did take her. That she's in a better place. I did take her. But I left you a gift. And you know what that gift was? He said that I left you her sound, her anointing, her fire, her desire. Because my mom loved God. And just how mama was, I'm just like her. And God, her spirit, her mantle fell upon me. And so now I see things and I talk like my mama. I find myself talking like my mama. I, I find myself thinking like my mama. I find myself making decisions like my mama. So uh, mama, God took mama, but he left me that gift. He left me a spirit. And the good thing about it, I'm going to see you again. I'm encouraged. F to you, your mama lives in you. She lives in you. So make her happy. And how do you make her happy? Do the very things in her heart that she wants you to do. If she wanted you to serve God, serve God. If she wanted you to, to get that education, get that education. If she wanted you to become successful, become successful. If she wants you to get married, if she wants you to find love. If she wants to be happy, stay happy. Don't be sad. If mama wants you to be happy, why are you sad? Fight through it. Fulfill your mama's wishes. Happy Mother's Day. God bless you.